Hello friends, today we are going to learn flag register of 8085 microprocessor. So our 8085 microprocessor flag register is of 8 bit. Last bit is D0, then D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6 and D7. So total data bits are from D0 to D7. Where D0 bit is called as CY flag. CY flag stand for carry flag. Then P stand for parity. Parity flag. AC stand for auxiliary carry flag. Z stand for zero flag. And S stand for, stand for sign flag. Now. Let's try to understand meaning of each and every flag with the help of detailed example. So let's start with carry flag. We will see when our carry flag will become 1 and when our carry flag will become 0. So let's say if we are performing addition of 1010, 1010 plus 1010. 1010. So this value is AAH and this value is AAH. Suppose this is stored in accumulator and this value is stored in C register and we perform A plus C. After A plus C, what will happen? A and C will get added and its answer will get stored inside the A register. So let's perform addition 0 plus 0 is 0 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1 so in this case we got extra bit in addition in 8 bit addition we got ninth bit then in this case our c y flag will become 1 now let's take another example where we will check where CY flag will become 0. Suppose number is 0101 zero, 0101 zero, zero, one, zero, one, plus 0101 zero, 0101. One, zero, one, zero, one. Now this value is 55 and this value is also 55H. Suppose it is in accumulator, it is in C register and we perform addition of C register with accumulator. Then its answer will get stored inside the accumulator. So 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1. And 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. So in this, we didn't get any extra carry. So in this case, our CY flag will become 0. So identifying carry, is very easy if we are getting ninth bit after arithmetic operation then cy flag will become 1 and if we are not getting ninth bit then our cy flag will remain 0 now let's check parity flag parity flag will simply check how many ones are there in the answer so let's say in first case accumulator was having 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 so how many ones are there 1 2 3 4 and 4 is the even number. So whenever accumulator is having even number of 1s, our parity flag will become 1 and it will be called as even parity condition. And let's say in another example, accumulator is having 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 0. So total number of 1s are 3 and 3 is odd number. So for any odd number, our parity flag will become 0. So it will simply check how many 1s are there. If number of 1s are even, then parity flag will become 1. And if number of 1s are odd, then parity flag will become 0. Now, let's check 0 flag. Now, for 0 flag, we will check content of accumulator. It will tell whether accumulator has become 0 or not. So, in most of the cases, our accumulator is non-zero number. Let's say 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, in these cases, our 0 flag will remain 0 
and when entire accumulator becomes zero means when all eight bits become zero at that time our zero flag will become one so it is most rare case when we get our zero flag is equal to one we will get zero flag is equal to one only when when entire accumulator is zero then what is sign flag sign flag will tell us whether answer was positive or negative it's very simple see it will follow the msb of accumulator suppose msb of accumulator is 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 so here msb is 0 then our sign flag will become 0 and this is positive answer this will indicate that our answer is positive and in particular accumulator if msb is 1 then in this case our sign flag will become 1 and this answer will be treated as negative answer this answer will be treated as negative answer so this was the detailed explanation of each and every flag thank you